So I'm going to tell you today and talk to you today about chess, but not in the way perhaps you think. And I'm going to relate it to a particular challenge that many CEOs I work with face. Let me talk about one in particular. This CEO has a board of directors and an angel investor. And what this angel investor who sits on the board has been extremely successful before. Hundreds of millions of dollars in net worth has exited a startup that was huge, vast startup that we're all have heard of. And this founder is lucky to have that person on board, but also challenge, is also very challenged by the advice that they offer. Because clearly, you know, they know what they're doing. They have done and built great, a great successful business before. But that advice doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like it fits them at this time. And it reminds me of an analogy from chess that somebody I've been lucky enough to work with, Tom Willard at Bunk, uses. And he talks about the chessboard. Only in you can see and know your chessboard at any one time. You know where the pieces are. You know where your opponent's pieces are. Only really you can see that. And when you get advice from advisors and from others, often it can be their killer chess moves that they're telling you to make. And that made a, may, may have made complete sense on their chessboard, but it may not make sense on your chessboard. And they can't see your chessboard. You know, they sit on your board of directors, even if they're an, you know, very close to you and they're an advisor, they don't know what is the makeup of your chessboard. So they don't know if that great move that they're suggesting is going to work for you. They can't know that. Only you can know if that move is going to work for you because you know what the state of the pieces are, you know what the state of the board is. And that's a common misunderstanding. If you're an advisor and you're advising a startup or you're, you sit on the C-suite or your boss is the CEO, you do not know what their chessboard looks like. You cannot have an understanding. Now, by all means, suggest a move, but don't feel or expect that founder or CEO to take it. And equally on the receiving end of that, it can be really challenging when that advice comes to you to know if it's something you should take, right? In your, your instinct is probably telling you no, but logically you can't understand a reason why not. And maybe the board of directors is pressuring you into making that choice. Only you can know if that's right for you and that's dependent wholly on your chessboard. So take this story, this analogy of chess that Tom very kindly gave to me, I'm now going to give to you. Take that into the world and use that to talk about why perhaps a mentor's made some suggestions and advisor's made some suggestions to you, your chairman has, whatever that might be, take that advice and understand it in the context of your board. Use this analogy to explain, well, no, this is why I'm not going to do this. You don't understand my board. You don't, you can't possibly see what chess moves, the chess move I need to make. It may have been your killer move, but it's not going to be my killer move. I hope this has been useful to you. Let me know your feedback. I'd love to know what you think. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know if this has happened to you, if this is something that resonates with you. Thank you very much for your time and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.